Hey, Shrey, let's play a game. What game? Here. Okay. Draw a small triangle in the bottom left. Okay. Now look, I will show you something amazing, something that will blow your mind. Wow, what a fantastic drawing. It looks like it could solve all of the world's problems. I'm pretty sure that it can't. But did you see the way that I stacked those triangles? Yes. Now, stack it a similar way again. But instead of using triangles, use the shape that I just drew. Okay. Now, stack that drawing. Okay, so there's no more space. But that is a pretty cool pattern. Yes. And do you know what it is? Nope. It's Serpinski's triangle. Um, what? It's a fractal. Um, what? <sighs> Let me explain. A fractal is a pattern that has smaller parts of itself, similar to the whole thing. For example, in your Sierpinski triangle, the smaller triangles are almost identical to the whole triangle. They are not perfect, but if we kept drawing forever and had an infinite supply of paper and pencils, then the smaller parts would always be identical to the larger parts. Hmm, interesting. <gasps> I know how to make a complete fractal right now. How? Look here. Um, how is that a fractal? Well, you see, the line can be split into smaller parts, and the smaller parts are, well, identical to the whole line. See, I'm a genius. Oh, yeah. I forgot to mention another thing about fractals. What is it? Let me show you. Take your line. How many dimensions does it have? Well, one. Lines have one dimension. Do you notice anything about your line? Um, the line is straight? That isn't what I meant. Take your line and make it twice as long. Now, how much bigger is it? It is twice as big, right? Very good. And what is the ratio between the increase of length and how much the line grew? Well, the line got twice as big when you made it twice as long, so the ratio must be 1 to 1. Hey, the ratio is the same as the number of dimensions in the line. Yes, exactly. The ratio is the same as the dimension, and it works in 2D, too. If you double the side lengths of a square, then the area will quadruple, leading to a ratio of 4 to 2, or 2 to 1. Exactly. Now, what do you think will happen when we measure the dimensions of the Sierpinski triangle in this way? When you double the dimensions of Sierpinski's triangle, does the length of all sides double but the area quadruples, leading to a dimension of 2? Nope. Does the area double, leading to a dimension of 1? Nope. Does the area triple, leading to a dimension of 1.5? Much, much closer. Wait, what? The exact dimension of the Sierpinski triangle is about 1.585, but you were pretty close. But how can the dimension not be a whole number? Exactly! That's what makes fractals so weird. They don't have a whole dimension, instead they have a fractional dimension. And it's also why your line is not a fractal. Sorry, Shrey. Is that why they're called fractals? Yes, exactly. I think I get it now. A fractal is like a drawing with infinite complexity. Yes, exactly. You've got it now. But the Sierpinski triangle isn't the only fractal. Oh no, it isn't. There's also the Mandelbrot set, Julia sets, and you can even find fractals in nature. And that just scratches the surface. But oh, look at the time. I have to go now. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Goodbye. Hmm, I think I should go too.